The land in Yambio is lush, rich in colour and fertile, the perfect place to grow crops and raise farm animals. Located in the western Equatorius region of South Sudan, Yambio is just 20 kilometres from the Democratic Republic of Congo, which should make it easy to transport and trade those crops across the border. But the civil war that erupted in 2013 has not only inflicted physical pain and suffering, but has also devastated the economy, particularly the ability of farmers to grow, harvest and sell crops. I want our situation to be okay because our farmers for a long time has been killed for nothing and we have so many armies as killing us here. I want the situation to become okay because our farmers will be okay. They can go very far to cultivate and bring some food for citizens. <laughs> the stallholders at the Yambio market say the security situation has improved. There is still some looting and violence but it tends to be isolated incidents. Uh, since we operate this uh, green bit here, I don't see any something here come and disturb us here. There's uh, no insecurity here. We are safe. That has a flaw is the economic crisis. Many in the local community do not have jobs and therefore the money to buy food for their families. That has a flow on effect for local businesses. No people buying. Most of people have, they have gone away. People are not there are no people buying, most of people have, they have gone away, people are not enough to buy our goods. It is also difficult to access the goods they need because of the damage to the roads caused by war and the weather during the rainy season. Sometimes the journey with their fruit and vegetables takes so long that the produce spoils before they can get it to market. High taxes on their stalls and goods are also eating into their profits. So even though the environment is safer, they're still struggling. Yeah, it is safe to bring the goods. As long as the road is repaired, we can get our thing nicely. And then they should reduce on the taxation, mostly on food item. Because we bring, we sell to the poor, we don't sell to the rich people. So if the taxation is too high, it brings everything costly. These stallholders are entrepreneurs who want to work. They want to get ahead and for the country to succeed. Sitting back and waiting for help from the international community is simply not an option. So when I stay idle like that without doing anything, I will feel anger. When I start from anger, I will go to steal something from someone which will make me to go to prison and sit there idle. Local authorities acknowledge the challenges faced by businesses but say durable peace is needed before the country can move forward with economic recovery. The people of South Sudan to embrace national dialogue, to make sure we work for peace in our country, to make sure we change our attitudes towards one another, to have love among ourselves, to have unity so that we can work for the common agenda which is the maintenance of peace in our country that will take us to the development of this nation. So they can move from dependence to being is supporting that development with a number of quick impact projects including building vital infrastructure like water supply systems. It is also advocating for an increase in capacity building programs to train local people in skills like carpentry and farming so they can move from dependence to being empowered to take control of their own lives and future.